there's significant gaps, you know, around the windows and doors, and that's what this stuff is for to uh, clean up the seal those up. I've never used this particular product before, so I'll let you know how it does. So I got all those gaps filled up. Oh, I saw a little light right there. Now we're fairly airtight. Uh, we're gonna work on that. Probably the wiring. We're gonna run all low uh, wattage LEDs in here, so there'll be hardly any draw. Look at that. There's lights, and uh, I got a one up here for my CPAP. One up here for. What I'm guessing will probably be the coffee maker, possibly a little TV, a porch light, which doesn't have a bulb in it. We got an Edison bulb for it, but it didn't fit in the thing. I'm putting these little pull switches on everything for switches. This one doesn't have the extension on it. Uh, but these ones, we'll get those little pull switches too. So we did the math, and what did we find, figure out? Maybe it was six watts per bulb, and we have six bulbs, so that's only 32, 30, right? Yeah, 36. 36 watts that we're pulling. That's nothing. Um, on a 15 amp circuit, you can pull 1800 watts, so um, a coffee maker probably pulls 1000 watts easy, and if you were gonna run a, an electric heater, which I don't think we will, but. And then there's one down here for a possible fridge, but we don't have the money or it's just a future possible upgrade. For now, it's just about having lighting and a place to plug in my CPOP. And uh, that's done. So I think that'll be it for this episode. If, uh, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. The lights are on. I wonder if anyone's home. <laughs> one more shot. Oh, wow. So nice. Yeah. Neat, huh?